So if you're like me, the biggest flaw with the Amazon Fire tablet, in my opinion, is the Amazon App Store. Yes, there's plenty of apps to choose from, but for some reason, Google does not want to play nice with Amazon and you're missing a lot of Google apps like YouTube, Gmail, Chrome, and more on the Fire tablet. Well, the good news is because the Fire tablet technically runs Android, you can get the Google Play Store on your Fire tablet and install all of those amazing Android apps in less than 10 minutes. And in this video, I'm going to show you how. Let's start with the first thing that you need to do. If you have an SD card or a memory card in the Fire tablet, make sure to remove it. You don't want the files that we're going to be downloading to be downloaded onto your SD card. You want it directly onto the tablet itself. Next, we have to enable installation from unknown sources. So you're going to tap settings, then scroll to security and privacy, then tap apps from unknown sources. Click the Silk browser and turn it on. We want to allow that. That is the browser that we're going to be using to download all the files for the Google Play Store. Now you want to make sure you know which Fire tablet model you have, as well as the Fire OS version you're under, just in case you need that information. If you go into the settings app, then you scroll to device options and scroll to about Fire tablet. You'll see the model right there. Write that down so you know exactly which file to download. Then you go back to system updates and write down the Fire OS version you currently have. Now we're going to download all the APK files. I've linked the website that I use to download all these files. It's from Android Police. You're going to have to get that link and open it up on your Fire tablet in the Silk browser. Now I get it. You're probably not watching this video on your Fire tablet because this is YouTube and there is no YouTube on the Fire tablet. So you're going to have to try to copy that link, maybe email it to your Fire tablet, whatever you need to do, maybe write it down and just type it in manually. Ultimately, you need to get that website on your Silk browser so we can download those files directly from the website. If that makes sense. We're going to download and install a total of four files. Now, once you have the website on the Silk browser, scroll down until you see Google Account Manager. This is the first file we're going to download. Look for your Fire tablet model, click the one next to it, then scroll down and hit download APK. As you can see, I have a Fire tablet 8. 2022, that's why I chose this file. It's going to begin downloading and then finish. Don't open it yet. You may see a warning telling you to be careful when downloading files onto your tablet. Now, this is going to be completely up to you if you want to go through this process. I can only tell you my experience. I've never had any issues installing the Google Play Store. There hasn't been any viruses that I've gotten onto my Fire tablet for doing this, but it's completely up to you and how comfortable you feel doing this this procedure. Just want to put that out there. These are simply APK files to get the Google Play Store and its framework on your Android tablet. But once again, it's up to you. But if you decide to continue, you're going to click download anyway, and then you'll go back to the Android police website. Scroll down now to Google services framework. This is a second file that we're going to download. Find your Fire tablet model and then click the link. Scroll down, download APK, download anyway and then we're going to go back to the Android police website. Don't open these files yet. Just hit done and go back. We're going to scroll down again and now we're going to download the third file. This is the Google Play Services APK. And now you'll have a bunch of APKs to choose from. I always just select the latest one right there on top. Click it, download APK, download anyway and then go back to the website. Now we're gonna download the final APK file, the Google Play Store. This is a universal app. This is gonna be for all models of Fire tablets. So you're gonna click it. Then you're gonna see a lot of options. I always download the latest one, but not the one with bundle next to it. It should say APK. I'll click one, download APK, and download anyway. Now you should have four files downloaded. So let's go back to the home screen then to the files app and then click downloads under the menu and you should see the four files that you downloaded. Now we're going to install them starting with the first one that we downloaded. You're going to click it and then you may see a message, a warning saying 
Are you sure you want to do this? Installing files from unknown sources can be dangerous. And while yes, that may be true, once again, this is up to you. This is your decision if you're gonna do this or not. I can only speak for myself. I haven't had any issues doing this. And this is more of Amazon not wanting you to do this. So they put up these warnings trying to deter you from installing the Google Play Store because they want you to use the Amazon App Store. So if you're okay with it, you're gonna continue, install, and done. Now we'll go to the second one that we downloaded, click it, continue, install, and done. The third file, we're gonna click it, continue, install, and done. And the final one, we're gonna click it, and if you see this message here, there was a problem parsing the package. You don't have to worry, just skip this file. We're gonna go ahead and go back to the website, the Android Police website, and we're gonna download another Google Play Store file. That specific one may not have worked well with your Fire tablet, so we'll go ahead and download another one. So download, download anyway, and now go back to the files, click the one that you just downloaded, continue, install, and done. And that's it, we're pretty much done. Now if you go back to the home screen, you're gonna see the Google Play Store app right there next to all your applications. Open it up, search for your favorite applications. Here's YouTube, you can install it, open it. And if you've come this far, why don't you just search on YouTube for TechVerb, this channel, subscribe to the channel, like this video if you're this far into this video and comment that it worked. I would really appreciate it. But that's pretty much it. Now you have the Google Play Store on your Fire tablet. You can download all those Android applications that you love. Those files that you downloaded, you can delete them because now they're installed already onto this tablet and you can put your SD card back into your Fire tablet if you choose. If you're still having some issues, one thing you can try to do is restart your Fire tablet. Just do a quick reboot and it might fix the problem that you're having. But for the most part, the Google Play Store works just fine. There are some things that aren't gonna play well with Fire OS. For example, the Google Family Link won't work here on your Fire tablet. If you want to create a child profile, you can create one directly on Fire OS instead of going through the Google Family Link. But for the most part, everything will work just fine, just like any Android tablet, which completely changes this tablet for me. It makes this tablet so much better having all those Android apps that I love directly on this tablet. So hopefully this video helped you out. And if it did, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos just like this one on tech news, reviews, and opinions, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our new videos. And I'll see you on the next one.